Pick up this uh, motor guy. Motor guy wireless series. And uh not even sure how to use this thing. this to the uh, trolling motor. Trolling motor does not spin. So I probably should uh, open this up and see what's going on. Power ahead up and see what's going on. I decided to bypass bypass this wireless uh, thing just to see if the motor is working. So I'm gonna I'm going to disconnect this and hook it up to the hook it up to the. Um, Hook it up to the um, bypass the remote control. Hook it up to the lower unit directory. See if I can uh, make this work. Okay, so hopefully it's gonna work. Okay, here we go. Oof. Okay. That's off, and I separated uh, this remote control from the lower unit, and now I can test the lower unit. That's the remote control. And here's the moment of truth, and I hope it worked. I happen to have the black wire hook up to the um, positive. So now that's the positive. Now I'm doing the negative here, and hopefully the motor will turn. Yeah, oh my goodness. Man, that's great. So I know the problem is the, uh, look. This trolling motor is working. Beautiful. 75 pounds. Beautiful. So I have a working lower unit. Um, and the problem is just inside this remote control unit, you know, so there you go. Very powerful. It's a very powerful machine. So water series too. And here's the antenna for the remote control. You know, it also has a battery uh, indicator down there. So I'm just going to uh, disconnect this and uh, Back. And you see, this 75 pounds is a lot. 
bigger. And that's the 54. Here is, here is the back. This is a great machine here. Got a good deal. It's working, so that's it. Okay, so I now, uh, my problem is inside this uh, remote control, which I can easily fix, okay? And uh, that is the good news. Pick up this nice salt water series uh, controlling motor. Very good news. Thank you. 